Hi, I'm Becky. I thought I'd go for a pop of blue today. What do you think? I actually have this. I bought a bunch of these scarves at Dollar Tree. They were a buck and I cut them up and I tie them on all of my luggage so that when I travel, I wear the scarf. And if I and I have lost my luggage before, it never comes down the chute. It's really easy to tell the, the attendant it's going to be the blue suitcase with this scarf tied onto it. This is what you're looking for. Um, so anyway, just a tie. A, side note of interest. Today we are going to talk about putting our support team to work um, if need be. Okay there's several of your support team that are going to be eager to get started and help you and they want to do more. Um, let them know now is not the time. Now is not the time. We're in the prep stage. It's stage two of Changeology. You don't want to rush the steps. You don't want to get step mismatch. There are certain things to do at certain times of change and if you if you rush it or if you omit steps you're less likely to succeed at it. So don't ask ask them not to give you coaching or advice yet. Uh, and uh, oh okay so there's gonna be somebody you know what am I chopped liver? There's gonna be somebody that you did not Put on your support team. Let them know that you love them, but that you have support. You've selected the people who are supporting you for very specific reasons, and they can support you in other ways and and just love on you and be your friend. Uh, but it's a two way street. Know that if you have asked someone to be on their support team, you are likely you want to give back to them and be supportive of them. You want to be interested in their lives, and um, you know. Just just be a part of the changes that they're making. Um, we're on page 96 of the book. Now, if you view change as a battle, you can recruit allies while minimizing collateral damage. It says, you'll be pleasantly surprised when a person supports you, you know, but there will be those who you would think would be supportive of your change and they're not. Don't be dismayed by this. When you make changes, it's hard for other people because they're used to the you that they're familiar with and you are going to be different at the end of this 90 days. So we are going to, in the next video, we're going to do a check ourselves. We're going to see if we're done with this section, if we've assembled our support team correctly, and if we can move on to the next step in phase or step two, our prep stage.